Hello friends and welcome back to another video. Earlier I had uploaded two videos on how you can make friends with butterfly and I found a few comments over there mentioning that their caterpillars had died. So when I found some eggs on my curry leaf plant, I decided to make this video to show how you can take care of your caterpillars. For this I took the leaves with the eggs and took a bottle filled with water and I have put a polythene on top and made a hole and I pushed in the leaves in the water. An easy way to fill water in the bottle is having a syringe filled with water and you can just syringe in the water. Then you don't have to remove the top cover every time you need to fill up the water. Next I put this arrangement inside a glass jar and I covered the top with a piece of polythene and I punched in some holes to make sure that airflow is maintained and this I kept in a semi shaded area in my balcony. These eggs were laid on November 11th 2023 in the morning hours and by November 12th evening the caterpillars had come out you can see how tiny they are and these are some eggs also which have not yet burst out. The caterpillars are looking like deep greenish in color, blackish green in color. They were eating well as you can see the leaves were having some bitten off edges and soon they had grown up so big. At this time all you need to do is make sure they have adequate leaves to chomp on. And also you have to make sure that the leaves have adequate water down below so that they don't wilt off and remain fresh. I decided to shift these into a larger container so I am using this plastic container I have cut off the top and I am going to burn off the edges after cutting it off and I will be using this and I am going to use another big bottle to put in more leaves because they were eating at a very high rate and the little bottle was unable to hold too many stems of leaves. I got some fresh curry leaf from the market because my curry plant didn't have too many leaves and I put them in this bottle and I also put a piece of tissue paper in the larger container and I placed this bottle and next to it I placed the bottle with the caterpillars and the garden curry leaves so that the caterpillars might go into the other bottle sleeve and I also tied up a piece of net on top of this container because now the caterpillars were not too tiny and they cannot come out from that net and the ventilation would also be good. It is important to keep the container closed with adequate ventilation. If you don't cover the container, the lizards or birds might come and eat off the juicy caterpillars or the caterpillars might decide to just move out from the container and if they go out from there then they will definitely perish off. I was hoping that the caterpillars will move into the leaves which I had got from the market but only one of it moved. So I cleaned up the container, I removed the tissue, it is easier to clean up the container if you have a tissue paper down below because the droppings are easier to be removed and I decided to put all the leaves into one bottle so I took a bottle and made many holes and I put the market leaves and also the leaves in which the caterpillars were there together. In this manner I put all the leaves with the caterpillar in one bottle. I put fresh tissue in the container and I placed this bottle with the caterpillars after filling it up fully with the syringe and water. Cleaning up the container, removing the old tissue, putting fresh tissue, filling up the container with water, giving these caterpillars newer leaves when they finish off chomping on these leaves is a continuous process and you have to keep on doing this throughout especially during their growing phase so every day or the other I'll be repeating this process and then I'll be covering the container as usual so taking care of these caterpillars is really easy this is all you have to do you can see how well they are growing from the tiny caterpillars they have grown up so much now on November 24th which is about 12 days after the caterpillars had come out you can see that one caterpillar had molted and it had turned into the greenish kind of caterpillar which is the second stage after molting and this one was preparing for the final conversion into butterfly. By November 25th as you can see the three caterpillars had turned fully green after molting and only one caterpillar which had come out a little bit later was remaining blackish in color and three of them had molted and changed into the nest stage. Changing into these green colored caterpillars they eat a lot more so I have to keep on changing the leaf a lot more times 
and also I have to change so I have to keep cleaning up the tissue and removing their droppings and keeping the container clean so this work increases when they become bigger these are all the beautiful fat caterpillars they are eating well and growing well by November 25th three of the caterpillars had turned fully green the last caterpillar also molted and turned green and the first one went into the initial chrysalis stage by 30th November it turned into the final chrysalis stage and now it's not going to eat any more of the leaves but it's going to rest for some time. By 2nd December all three caterpillars turned into proper chrysalis stage and only one caterpillar remains like so. Next I'm going to take a sturdy stick and put all the chrysalis on this stick. So with the piece of cello tape I stuck all the chrysalis on the branch and I took a container filled it with sand. I put the stick inside this container and I kept this in a larger container. In this manner you have to prepare a larger container for the chrysalis because when the butterflies come out you have to provide them with adequate space so that they can unfurl their wings properly. This step is very important otherwise the butterflies wings might get damaged and then they can never fly off on their own. And also remember to cover the container otherwise the butterflies might fly off or some predatory animals might come and eat them up when they are unfurling their wings. On 5th December the last caterpillar also turned into the initial chrysalis stage as you can see. So I put this one also into the container where the other chrysalis were. On 11th December 2023 the first chrysalis turned completely black. It took around 11 to 12 days for it to turn black and the others were still green in color. By 11 o'clock the same day the butterfly came out and after resting for some time it flew off around 2.30 pm. So this one is the first citrus butterfly which came out. I had gone to pick up my daughter from school when it had come out. So I was unable to take the time lapse video of its coming out from the chrysalis. Anyway, I left it out in my garden and from there it flew off when it was ready. It rested and exercised its wings for around half an hour before it was ready to actually fly off. And this is what remains of the chrysalis. On 15th December, the second of the butterfly came out from the chrysalis and I was lucky enough to take the time lapse of this butterfly coming out and how it was unfurling its wings and exercising its wings. I had taken this time lapse of butterfly coming out inside of the room because I was afraid if I kept it outside then the garden lizard might come and eat it up. And down below is the extra fluid or the meconium which the butterflies give out when they emerge from the chrysalis. And this is the fluid which they pump into their wings and the excess fluid is dropped out. Once the butterfly's wings had unfurled, I decided to take it out into the garden and keep it over there so that it can fly off when it was ready. I kept it on this jade plant so this one had come out at around 8.40 am and it flew off at about 10.45 am on 15th of December. Also on 15th December the third butterfly also came out and I had gone out again to pick up my daughter and this one also flew off at about 11 am the same day. On 20th December 2023 the last of the chrysalis also turned into butterfly. I somehow managed to take the time lapse of the last butterfly also and this one was a little bit different than the other butterflies. Even though it was also a citrus butterfly but the pattern on its wings were really beautiful. There was some reddish kind of colored patches also which made the butterfly look really really very pretty. And this one was the last butterfly, the fourth one which also successfully came out and after resting and exercising this one also flew off. Here is the close up of the wings of this very beautiful butterfly. This one was the most colorful among all the four butterflies which came out. So this is the detailed video on how you can care for your caterpillars and make sure that they don't die off before turning into butterflies. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and found this video useful and thanks for watching.